The hello today's video we have the following content. Rereading the story of Rose, I understand why Rose chose the rich man but still dated Zhang Guodong. Some people who people love deeply are often not the ones they end up spending their lives with and raising their children with. Liu Yifei's new drama The Story of Rose has recently caused a sensation on the internet and has become a hot topic. The audience has expressed their desire to see her beauty. In this drama, the fairy sister's clothes and makeup are so beautiful that people are intoxicated. Her every smile and every move exudes overflowing charm. This work can be said to be a type that Liu Yifei has never been involved in, and it is also a new breakthrough for her. There are some differences between the TV series and the original work. In the original work, after several relationships, Liu Yifei chose to marry a wealthy man in his 50s, Lord Luo. But in this situation, the appearance of her first love Zhang Guodong deeply attracted Wang Yimi. They rekindled their old love behind Lord Luo's back and started a crazy date. Wang Yimi's charm. Wang Yimi appeared with an image of peerless beauty, as charming as the moon surrounded by stars. Since childhood, the number of people who like Wang Yimi is too numerous to count, and the gifts and flowers in the house have almost never stopped. She is always the one who is pursued and held in the palm of the hand. The man who is about to enter the marriage hall actually gave up seven years of love for this girl who is still in college, and would rather die than marry her. Joshi who is the gentleman who fell in love with Wang Yimi at first sight. After he met Wang Yimi, no one else could take his heart away, and he wanted to marry Wang Yimi with all his heart. At the moment when he and his girlfriend Guan Zhuzhu, who had been dating for seven years, were about to enter the Civil Affairs Bureau to get a marriage certificate, he suddenly changed his mind and abandoned the girl who had been with him for seven years. Obviously, Wang Yimi's charm is indeed irresistible. Wang Yimi has never been shaken by the pursuit of many people. She just immersed herself in the feeling of being the moon surrounded by stars, and never had a trace of heartbeat. Wang Yimi didn't really feel the taste of love and heartbeat until she met Zhuang Guodong. Due to work, she met this man, who was sought after by everyone like her. The man she loved actually admired her quietly. Fortunately, these two excellent and charming people finally came together. The two of them were so compatible that people thought they would be happy to the end. But unexpectedly, for Wang Yimi, this relationship was just a short beginning. Zhang Guodong is a workaholic who focuses on work. When it comes to choosing between love and career, he always decisively prefers work. Even if he has a close relationship with Wang Yimi, he can quickly get rid of emotional entanglements and devote himself to work. Zhang Guodong even preferred to give up getting along with Wang Yimi for work and chose to go to France to work. Therefore, in such a relationship, Wang Yimi finally broke up with him. In the original book, the main reason for the breakup of the two was that Zhuang Guodong concealed the fact that he already had a fiancé and started a relationship with Wang Yimi. Such deception and betrayal were really unbearable, and in the end, the two were not able to be together. After breaking up with Zhuang Guodong, Wang Yimi soon started a new relationship. But this relationship changed her the most. The injured Wang Yimi. Fang Zhuan is really a real phoenix man, who deceived Rose. This talented and handsome man finally won Wang Yimi's heart after his unremitting pursuit and affectionate love. He not only accompanied Wang Yimi's mother shopping, but also often bought various things for Wang Yimi, which shows that he is a considerate and thoughtful man. After getting Wang Yimi's love, he regarded her as a golden sheep and began to tirelessly fleece her. Wang Yimi's funding and support were the key to Fang Zhuan's success in starting a business and becoming a boss. In fact, Wang Yimi's father saw through people like Fang Zhuan the most thoroughly. He once said, men can pretend. Indeed, Fang Zhuan did pretend himself in front of Wang Yimi. Fang Zhuan's attitude changed significantly, especially after they got married. Fang Zhuan clearly knew that Wang Yimi's predecessor was Zhang Guodong, and he knew what kind of person Zhang Guodong was. Therefore, he tried his best to surpass Zhang Guodong, which prompted him to start a business. The reason why Fang Zhuan seemed to be motivated was actually due to his inferiority complex, which had been hidden in his heart for a long time. After getting married, Fang Zhuan also achieved brilliant success in his career. Fang Zhuan now has a high self-esteem and gradually began to reveal his true nature, showing extreme arrogance. He completely forgot all the efforts Wang Yimi had made in the past, and only wanted to control her and control her life. He even interfered with everything about her, including her clothes and dressing. This lifestyle is enough to make any normal person feel unbearable. This is exactly why Wang Yimi decided to divorce. Later, she met Fu Jiaomin again, who can be said to be the most suitable person for Wang Yimi. 
That period was also the happiest time for Wang Yimi. But Fu Jiaoming unfortunately passed away due to illness, which eventually left Wang Yimi alone. In the original novel, Wang Yimi eventually married a 59-year-old wealthy man, Sir Luo. When Zhuang Guodong appeared, the two were about to get married. Marrying a rich man but rekindling old love. Since meeting Wang Yimi, the 59-year-old wealthy man Sir Luo seemed to have regained his youth. Wang Yimi has always been an optimistic girl who loves life. Even after three unsatisfactory relationships and having a child, she is still passionate about life and smiles as always. After meeting Sir Luo, Wang Yimi was like a princess in his palm and was deeply loved by him. Although many years have passed, Wang Yimi's mind is always lingering with Zhang Guodong. As her first love and the first man she truly loved, how could she easily forget him? When she was about to enter the marriage hall with Sir Luo, Zhang Guodong suddenly appeared. Not only Wang Yimi, but Zhuang Guodong could not forget her either. Over the past 10 years, although Zhuang Guodong married someone else, he always remembered Wang Yimi. Therefore, this reunion allowed the two to open their hearts and get back together. They started a crazy date that went against Sir Luo. No matter what the past was like, no matter what they had experienced, the good memories at the time were real and the most unforgettable for them. Wang Yimi could never forget Zhang Guodong, even though he gave up on her because of work and even though he had never considered a future with her. Many years later, she still walked towards him resolutely. This time, they had both become mature and real adults. Deep good article plan they didn't want to miss each other again, so they got back together regardless of everything. Wang Yimi always lived a life for herself anyway, and nothing that happened would affect her pace of life. Next news. The story of Rose spent a lot of money to package Liu Ye for E with 32 sets of clothes, but the plot became a foil. The legend of Rose starring Liu Ye for E has set off a wave of heated discussions on the internet in just a few days since it was broadcast. What is eye-catching is not the ups and downs of the plot, but Liu Ye for E's ever-changing gorgeous clothes in the play, whose style almost overshadows the brilliance of the plot itself. This TV series, which is deeply inspired by Yi Shu's original work, outlines the outline of Wang Yimi with delicate strokes. It not only shows the style of traditional women, but also emphasizes their right to pursue spiritual independence and self-realization, and highlights the style and power of women in the new era. Perhaps you can also notice that this play is similar to The Devil Wears Prada to some extent. However, although the two have similarities, they also have their own merits. The heroine is like a new seedling in the workplace, gradually emerging, from immaturity to maturity, and completing a gorgeous turn. However, compared with the terrifying female devil, she has not only transformed in appearance, but also achieved a qualitative leap in professional ability. On the other hand, Wang Yimi is still like a rose in a greenhouse in the current plot, beautiful but slightly delicate. In today's era where appearance is highly regarded, Liu Yifei is the leader with her extraordinary appearance. The crew's careful planning, the gorgeous costumes and exquisite makeup tailored for her, have successfully attracted the audience's attention, allowing people to enjoy the plot while indulging in the visual feast she brings. In this era of visual feast, it is undoubtedly a spiritual enjoyment to witness a true goddess-level actor interpreting a beautiful role. The hearts of the audience seem to be blown by the spring breeze, and their fingertips naturally revealed warm praise for this beautiful performance. In the first five episodes of The Story of Roses, Liu Yifei's fashion interpretation has undoubtedly become a bright landscape. In just a few episodes, she elegantly switched 32 sets of different styles of clothing, like a walking fashion model. If each episode is 45 minutes long, Wang Yimi can appear in a new look every 7 minutes on average, showing her fashionable charm. When the audience first glimpsed the subtle plot of new clothes and old clothes, they all felt novel, but as the plot deepened, the novelty gradually faded and turned dull. Netizens' comments were sharp, modern audiences chase dramas just for a visual feast or emotional catharsis, in short, they don't want to use their brains too much. The 32 styles played by Liu Yifei are undoubtedly the ultimate favor to the audience's vision. From the youthful vigor of a young student to the tenderness and charm of a rising star in the workplace, the role of Wang Yimi was carefully carved by the script and became the focus of everyone's attention. While enjoying the plot, the audience was also attracted by her beauty, and could not help but be deeply attracted and indulged in this visual feast. Although Liu Yifei's peerless beauty was perfectly displayed in the play, the flaws in the script creation were revealed like a mirror, which could not be ignored. In this work, Liu Yifei's clothing design was questioned by the audience, 
who believed that such a sense of fashion was too advanced and somewhat out of tune with the historical background of the millennium. On the other hand, although Wang Yimui's beauty and gorgeous clothes added a lot of points to her, her behavior seemed too arbitrary, and there were some puzzling actions, which made people question her rationality. Time passed to 2001, which was a slightly simple era. Wang Yimui, although she was in a not poor family, she had a yearning for the trend of the times in her heart. Whenever she saw the Nokia mobile phone in the hands of people around her, the desire surged into her heart like a tide. However, to realize this dream, she had to rely on her father's small funding. This is not just a mobile phone, but also the yearning and pursuit of technology and fashion by young people of that era. When she transformed into a charming girl on the roller skating field, the denim overalls she wore cleverly revealed a fashionable atmosphere, which was a trendy new product carefully created by the brand in 2023. When she entered her brother's company for internship, Wang Yimui appeared again in a denim outfit, which was a new style launched by a well-known brand in the spring and summer of 2023. She cleverly tied her curly hair into a high ponytail and wore large metal hoop earrings, exuding youth and vitality. Although her outfit showed the vigor of a fresh graduate, the exquisiteness of her makeup revealed a modern sense that transcended the times. Indeed, some people praised the clothing of the era for being eclectic and even surpassing today's popular trends, questioning the fashion taste of the past based on Liu Yifei's stunning appearance. This view has its own reasons. However, if she put on the outfit of 20 years later in advance, wouldn't such an avant-garde move remind people of a wonderful journey through time and space? If a TV series wants to satisfy the audience's aesthetic pleasure, it is essential to ensure that the logic of the plot is rigorous and the reality is solid. When adapting works, we should also adhere to rationality and truth. If we just cater to the trend of heroines and over-embellish and distort the facts, it will probably make the audience feel that the screenwriter's writing is too subjective and out of touch with the public. On the stage of drama, Wang Yimui shines with the attitude of life model. When facing the interviewer, she confidently stated, Both my parents are teachers and teachers in Tsinghua University, and my home is in the Tsinghua University with a profound cultural heritage. Her confidence makes her, who has just entered the workplace, seem to stand side by side with her boss. For her superiors who are more experienced than herself, she does not hesitate to call them by their names, and when she secretly tastes the boss's wine, her self-righteousness is even more impressive. In the real world, there are certainly young people who are full of confidence and even a little arrogant when they first enter the workplace. However, this is by no means a common phenomenon, let alone the workplace norm. In the TV series, whether it is the true expression of Wang Yimui's free and unrestrained personality or the carefully crafted character setting by the screenwriter, such exaggerated plots seem to be too frequent, and perhaps they should be moderately restrained. Wang Yimui, she is like a mirror, reflecting the subtle reality of appearances just as in society. In her, every so-called willfulness or affected seems so natural because of her outstanding beauty, as if all unreasonableness has been reasonably explained by her beauty. In the video conversation with my boyfriend Zhang Guadong, we had a fierce argument, and the emotions surged like a tide, and it was difficult to restrain myself. Driven by anger, I lost control and made a mess of Zhang Guadong's room, and all kinds of items were scattered all over the floor. Between Zhang Guadong's image of online customer service and Wang Yimui's passionate release of emotions, this description always makes people laugh, as if every time I revisit it, it is like being in a comedy and it is difficult to experience that kind of deep resonance. Liu Yifei's stunning beauty gives silent rationality to all the seemingly bizarre plots in this drama, as if her beauty is the most perfect annotation behind those plots. Liu Yifei's peerless beauty undoubtedly adds countless brilliance to this drama, but this beautiful rose seems to lack some sharp edge, challenge and tenacity. Dear viewers, what do you think of this V? Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 